Hey, Bootsube. Um, I found my ripped-to-crap hoodie. I'm very excited about it. I think I might have worn it um, since. But this is the hoodie that Zoe keeps trying to throw away, and I keep finding. Um, so, I'm very excited. It's very cozy. Ah. So, um, this month I've been reading this chunker, um, The Last Night of the Earth poems, um, which was, I want to say, released in 90? Two, ninety-two. So, um, the era of this, things that were going on, um, the Reagan era was ending and the Bush senior era was beginning. Um, the first Persian Gulf War, uh, um, the end of hair metal in the beginning of um, Nirvana grunge and alternative actually I was probably like right in 92 so um, this probably has nothing to do with that but when I do the flags in the books the ones up here are like poems that I really like and the ones on the sides here are just lines that I really like <clears throat> And, um, I usually kind of pimp this book as, um, one that if you want to get into Bukowski or want to just read about him or read his poetry, this is one of the go-to books. And I'm really starting to think that the bigger books are a bad idea. So, um, I'm going to make a different list now of what books I think people should read poetry wise um, I'm going to go back to like Mockingbird Wish Me Luck and The Days Run Over or yeah The Days Run Over wait what is it called it's got some long ass title The Days Run Away like horses running over the hills or whatever uh, play the piano drunk like a percussion instrument until the fingers begin to bleed a bit. Um, those are probably the ones I would recommend people go to. The reason is, is because if you look, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but if you look, there is one big chunk right in the middle here where there's like, I, I, didn't like find like a poem that I thought was amazing. And um, the way his uh, poetry books are set up, they're set up in like different books. So this one has four different books in it. And the majority of book two and the beginning of book three I just think is okay and um, the end of book four um, I'm kind of on the fence about <coughs> <coughs> so even though there is a ton of good stuff in here this is almost like 400 pages oh no it's 405 pages yeah, 405 pages. So if you don't have, like, the, um, the, I don't want to say attention span because that's not the right word. If you don't have the time to sit through 400 pages of poetry to find a ton of good poems, but to read a lot more that maybe aren't amazing, then, um, you might find this kind of a slog, which is shocking to say. But um, I'll just read to you some of my favorite lines out of here. Um, let me see, what is this one? Uh, 
That one's okay. Uh, sorry. Oh, there's this poem, Spark. Um, and if you've uh, listened to any of his, like, poetry readings or anything like that, um, this one came up a couple times. I'm trying to figure out where I heard it. I don't know. Um, but, like, this one's talking about, like, even when he wasn't writing for all that time, like, the ten years where he just said, fuck it, I'm not going to do this anymore. He kept, like, this little ember going, this little spark inside of him, knowing that someday, as long as he had the spark going, he could, like, fan it and, like, get the flame back. And, um... Just, like, I lived with the worst kind of women. They killed what the job failed to kill. Um, I don't know why that stuck out to me, but it did. Um, let me see what else we got here. Oh, this one's great. Um, not writing is not good, but trying to write when you can't is worse. Um, classic. Um... Oh, yeah, that, you'd have to know more backstory for that. Um, oh, yeah, and then there was that. Oh, I thought there was another one in here. I think I missed it. But anyway, um, one of my favorite uh, poems of his is called um, Dinosauria We, and um, it is... This is where they got the name for that um, really good documentary born into this from. So I'm going to read this one to you. Um, and again, the reason why I'm picking this one out is because this was like late 80s, early 90s. And this is because of how crazy things were then. This is what he was like expecting to happen and this is why one of those things I'm like, dude, if he was alive today, uh uh. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Uh, born like this, into this, is the chalk face smile as Mrs. Death laughs, as the elevators break, as political landscapes dissolve, as the supermarket bag boy holds a college degree, as the only fish spit. Oh, sorry, as the oily fish spit out their oily prey, as the sun is masked. We are born like this, into this, into these carefully mad wars, into the sight of broken factory windows of emptiness, into bars where people no longer speak to each other, into fistfights that end as shootings and knifings. Born into this, into hospitals which are so expensive that it's cheaper to die, into lawyers that charge so much that it's cheaper to plead guilty, into a country where the jails are full and the madhouse is closed, into a place where the masses elevate fools into rich heroes. Born into this, Walking and living through this, dying because of this, muted because of this, castrated, debauched, disinherited because of this, fools by this, used by this, pissed on by this, made crazy and sick by this, made violent. What was that? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, man. Okay. <sighs> made inhuman by this. The heart is blackened, the fingers reach for the throat, the gun, the knife, the bomb, the fingers reach towards an unresponsive god, the fingers reach for the bottle, the pill, the powder, we are born into this sorrowful deadliness, we are born into a government sixty years in debt, that soon will be unable to even pay the interest on that debt. And the banks will burn. Money will be useless. There will be open and unpunished murder in the streets. 
It will be guns and roving mobs. Land will be useless. Food will become a diminishing return. Nuclear, nuclear power will be taken over by the many. Explosions will continually shake the earth. Radiated robot men will stalk each other. The rich and the chosen will watch from space platforms. Dante's Inferno will be made to look like a children's playground. The sun will not be seen, and it will always be night. Trees will die. All vegetation will die. Radiated men will eat the flesh of radiated men. The sea will be poisoned. The lakes and the rivers will vanish. Rain will be the new gold. The rotting bodies of men and animals will stink in the dark wind. The last few survivors will be overtaken by new and hideous diseases. And the space platforms will be destroyed by attrition, the petering out of supplies, the natural effect of general decay. And then there will be the most beautiful silence ever heard. Born out of that, the sun still hidden there, awaiting the next chapter. I fucking love that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, and that just goes back to... Um, I, I honestly think if you took a bunch of people out of the 60s and 70s in a, like a time machine and just fucking dropped them in present day like with a clip show of the the best of CNN and Fox News they would seriously like all just stand in line to go into a gas chamber like I don't know so, anyway, this is a great book. It's just a chunker, and there's a lot of stuff that's better than this stuff that's in here. So, I mean, in here, there's good stuff better than what's in here. So, I almost think you'd be better off with a smaller book um, to just see if you like his style, if you like his philosophy on things. Um but yeah, so that's that. So if you've read that and you love it, let me know down below. If you've read that and you hate it, let me know down below. Um, if you want to argue ridiculous points with me, let me know down below. And we will call it a civilized discussion. Okay? So, um, also, uh, Poetic Anarchy. Um, I made a logo for it, and it looks really cool. You could go see it on all my little social media things on my website. Um, yeah, four weeks poetry course, um, with this guy and, um, we're going to put a book out. We're going to have some readings. We're going to do a bunch of stuff and, um, just try to make, um, poetry better than what it is. So, um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. If I could find the stop button.